So, you are considering creating your own Shopify app. Maybe you're a store owner wanting to differentiate from the competition, or a developer wanting to build a new income stream for yourself. Either way, this video has got you covered. I'll walk you through everything you need to know and, as a bonus, share some common mistakes to avoid. Gymshark, the fitness apparel giant, valued at over a billion dollars in 2020, shows the true scale successful Shopify stores can aspire to. What started as a simple idea by young college students obsessed with sports and fitness turned into a blossoming business with remarkably increasing revenue. It wasn't surprising to find out that the Gymshark team used a wide range of services and features offered by Shopify in order to expand their business. If you are a Shopify store owner, you might be wondering whether it is beneficial to create a custom Shopify app for yourself. Let me walk you through the exact process to work out if this is the right path for you to take. Developers, I haven't forgotten about you either. This section is relevant to you too, but I will also create a separate video specifically diving into the technical side of app creation for Shopify. Now, store owners, here's the three key topics to consider for a custom app. I'll break them all down in a sec. Number one, return on investment. Number two, functionality. And number three, security. Let's start where most don't, your return on investment when creating a custom Shopify app. Building your own app can range from a few hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. So it's super important to sit back and first work out what your expected return will be and work backwards from that to calculate a budget you are comfortable with. Keep in mind there are multiple types of returns you can generate by creating a custom app. Generating more sales is one, of course, but custom apps could also help you make your team more time efficient, give you a unique shopping experience against the competition, reduce mistakes, wastage or manual labor, lower your monthly costs compared to paying for expensive third-party tools, give you access to data insights you wouldn't otherwise have, and any combination of all of the above. By taking the time to really put a cost saving and revenue generating figure against each of these points, you start to get a clearer picture of what a reasonable budget would be to set aside to achieve the desired outcomes. Keep in mind that it's not just the initial build you need to budget for. Also allow for future improvements, bug fixes as the Shopify API changes, and monthly hosting of the infrastructure required to host your own app. Generally speaking, I'd say allow 10 to 20% of the app build as an annual budget for ongoing improvements and maintenance. Now that you know how much you stand to make and or save from your custom app, it's time to plan out the features that you would like included. This is also a step I see businesses get horribly wrong, usually because the features and budget don't align with each other. So here's what we do with our clients instead. One of the first exercises we go through together is known as the Moscow method. Moscow stands for must have, should have, could have, won't have. This method helps your development team understand the importance and priority of each requirement, ensuring that the most critical requirements are delivered first and can be quoted most accurately for your budget. Take the time to first write out all the feature requests you and your team have. Then go through and label each one of them with M, S, C, or W to align with the Moscow method. With that complete, the next step I suggest is creating user stories for each of your must-have items. I'm not going to go into detail in this video on creating powerful user stories, but if you do want to know more about them or would like a template to create your own, just drop a comment below this video. I also plan to release a video just on user stories in the not too distant future. Last but certainly not least is security of your custom app. But if you are new here, or this is your second or more video, I have something called the virtual high five. So if you have watched two or more videos, just hit that like and subscribe button. If you're finding it useful, and give me that virtual high five. Now, back on topic. I could spend hours talking on app security, which I'm not going to do here. The big thing I will say is this. Keep in mind that with custom apps, you are storing potentially sensitive information on servers not controlled by Shopify. Make sure you, one, use a custom app developer that you can trust and has a strong track record, and two, pay that little bit extra for good quality, secure hosting infrastructure. You don't want to be part of a data leak just because you were trying to save an extra 10 or $20 a month on your hosting. I have a bonus tip for you before we close off this topic as well. Another mistake I see companies make all the time when creating their own Shopify app, for getting together feedback on the app idea. There are usually multiple stakeholders that a custom app could affect. Staff, customers, management, marketing teams, contractors, other apps, 
the list goes on. Before diving into paying a developer to turn your idea into reality, I strongly advise you to take the time to consult all these different parties. Get the feedback on how they would like the app to work to make sure you have had multiple people with multiple perspectives explain their needs to you. Doing this will save you headaches down the road and prevent you from having to rework the app multiple times after you take it live. So whether you are a store owner or a developer, you are now well on your way to building your own app. Feel free to drop comments below if you have any specific questions I haven't covered. Until next time, scale smarter.